There's something that I've noticed in these days that we're living, and I'm sure you have too. There's so much noise that's around us, so much competing voices. But I've also learned to get beyond the noise and listen for this steady rumbling. It's, it's always there. It's growing, discernible. But it requires us to stop and focus and really listen for it. What I'm talking about is the rumbling of God calling to us, even in the midst of all the noise. It's his voice that's reminding us to live exemplary lives as children of God, to let our light shine in dark places, to love one another deeply from the heart. See, that rumbling is going on, but due to the escalating noise around us, it's challenging to listen, isn't it? Especially to listen carefully and with discernment. These rumblings, they go back as far as the Old Testament book of Judges. In those days, it's recorded that everyone did what was right in their own eyes. <laughs> Sound familiar? And the result of that was creating a world that just spiraled downward with increasing momentum. And along the way, we'll read in those pages that people were hurt and maligned and abused. They found it difficult to walk with God, to lean on God, to trust God which shouldn't surprise us because they weren't hearing from God. They weren't tuned in to the rumblings, that steady voice that's calling and whispering and beckoning us to be still and know. Now, I wish the book had more positive examples, but unfortunately, it's the negative examples in the book that are going to have us stop in our tracks and become aware of the carnage that's that's just laid bare along with the pain that poor choices, you know, have made. What I hope is that in those moments when we're speechless, that we'll listen not to the noise, but to the rumbling. That we'll hear God's voice offering hope even when all seems lost. Because that's the way God is. <laughs> God is full of grace. And not only is he willing to forgive, but he's also willing to empower us to forge new paths. And you're going to see that over and over again in the book of Judges. But we must hear him and listen to him. So I invite you to travel with me in this sermon series through the dark days recorded in the book of Judges. And I want to challenge you to listen, not to the noise, but to the rumbling in the background because God is speaking and he's speaking words of life and those words they're still true today.